Hallelujah. Welcome to the news from heaven. The news from our father. The father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hallelujah. The father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Um, the words that we speak. Uh, the works that we do, they, they, they go up in the air and they wait for us on judgment day. Hallelujah. So what words and what works are going to be waiting for us? Hallelujah. This is why we should never uh, stop speaking about our kingdom. Hallelujah. When the words of our kingdom are waiting for us, hallelujah, in truth and in spirit, hallelujah, then they will obviously weigh out those words that come in times of weakness. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, let us let us never stop to speak about about the kingdom. Let us never stop to deliver the good news of the kingdom. Let us never stop, hallelujah, to proclaim or propagate um, the, 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 the truth that comes from our Father. Hallelujah. Um, Ezekiel chapter 3, this is where we are today. Uh, ERV version, the topic is Ezekiel, it's the scroll. Let's read and we'll never be the same again. Let's read together and where we are where we are sick will be healed. Hallelujah. Where we are tied up and yoked and chained, everything will drop. The word of God is sharper than any double-edged sword. Hallelujah. Ezekiel chapter 3, the topic is Ezekiel, it's the scroll. I'll start from verse 1. And he said unto me, son of man, it thou thou findest it this roll and go and speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat the roll. And he said unto me, son of man, cause thou thy belly to eat and fill thou bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then, I, then did I eat it and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. Hallelujah. Verse 4, and he said unto me, son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard hearing, but to the house of Israel, not to many peoples of a strange speech, of an hard language, whose words thou canst understand. Surely, if I say thee to them, they would hearken unto thee, but the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are of hard forehead and a stiff heart. Behold, I have made thy face hard against their faces, and thy forehead hard against their foreheads, as an adamant, as an as as an adamant harder than flint. Have I made thy forehead fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they may be a rebellious house. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, all my words I speak, I speak unto thee, receive in thy heart and hear with thine ears, and go get thee to them out of the captivity unto the children of thy people and speak unto them and tell them thus says the lord whether they will hear or whether they will forbear then the spirit of the lord lifted me up and i heard behind me the voice of great rushing saying blessed be the lord Blessed be the glory of the Lord from the from his place. And I heard the noise of wings of living creatures as they touched one another and the noise of wheels beside them, even the noise of great rushing. So the spirit lifted me up and took me away. And I went in bitterness in the heat of my spirit and the hand of the Lord was strong upon me. Then I came to them of the captivity of Tel Aviv that jeweled by the river of Cheba and to where they jeweled and I sat there astonished among seven days hallelujah a watchman for Israel is the next subtopic of Ezekiel chapter 3 
Hallelujah. Verse 16. And it came to pass at the end of seven days that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman over the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way, to save his life. Hallelujah. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require a dying hand. Yet, if, if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from wickedness, nor from his wicked, wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Hallelujah. Again, when a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Because thou hast not given him warning, he shall die in his sin, and his righteous deeds which he has done shall not be remembered. But his blood will I require at thine hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin that the righteous sin not, he doth not sin, he shall surely live because he took warning and thou hast delivered thy, thy soul at the hand of the lord verse 22 was there upon me and he said unto me arise go forth into the plain and i will they talk with thee then i arose and went forth into the plain and behold the glory of the lord stood there as the glory which i saw by the river sheba and i fell on my face then the spirit entered into me and set me upon my feet and he spake with me and said unto me, Go shut thyself within thy house. But thou, son of man, behold, they shall lay hands upon me, upon thee. I'll read that again. But thou, son of man, behold, they shall lay hands upon, upon thee and shall bind thee with them, and they shall not go out among thou shalt not go out among them, and I'll make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, and thy shall be damp, and shall not be to them a reprover. For they are a rebellious house. But when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth. And thou shalt say unto, unto them, Thus says the Lord, He that heareth, let him hear. He that forbeareth, let him forbear. For they are a rebellious house. Hallelujah. Be blessed and receive the blessings that come with this reading. In Jesus' mighty name, as we continue to meditate and fellowship with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name.